What's new on PDF Element Mac AI? Hello everyone and welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. My name's George and I'm here today to share with you some incredible news for all the Mac enthusiasts out there. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. PDF Element 10 is finally here and it's packed with a host of improvements and exciting new features that promise to revolutionize your PDF experience on Mac forever. Do you remember Lumi? That remarkable AI assistant that made its debut in PDF Element 9? making our PDF tasks a breeze. Well, brace yourselves, because Lumi is making a comeback in PDF Element 10 for Mac, and it's stronger and smarter than ever before. So sit back, relax, and join me as we delve into the world of Lumi and discover the remarkable AI features it brings to the table. Before we dive in, let me briefly explain what Lumi is for those of you who may not be familiar with it. In PDF Element Mac 9, Lumi dazzled us with two specific features, Explain and AI Chat. These two features leverage the power of ChatGPT's NLP technology, simplifying a wide range of tasks in PDF Element. What used to take hours or even days could now be accomplished in mere seconds. Now in PDF Element 10 for Mac, all these features are available, but that's not all. We've also added multiple additional features that will significantly enhance your experience when working with Lumi, making it more convenient, efficient, and satisfying. Let's start by exploring the new AI Tools feature menu. This menu can be found in the Tools tab. When clicked, it will expand to reveal our features. AI Sidebar, AI Translate, Proofread PDF, and Translate PDF. The Translate PDF feature, as its name suggests, will allow us to translate entire documents. Chances are that you, like many of us, when we had a PDF in a language we didn't understand, turned to PDF Elements translation tool. This tool enabled us to select small fragments to obtain a translated version in our native language. This tool was incredibly useful because it spared us from having to open an online translator and input the content manually. But there was a small inconvenience. PDF Elements' old translation tool, like virtually any other translation tool in the world, could provide inaccurate translations. This is because translation tools are unable to truly comprehend the content we want to translate. They simply translate word by word or, in best case scenario, complete phrases. But now that PDF Element 10 is here, that's officially a thing of the past. The new PDF Element Translation tool leverages the power of the most sophisticated natural language model available today to provide real-time translation of the document you're reading. Simply select the language to which you want to translate your PDF and Translate PDF will provide an exceptionally precise real-time translation while considering the context, industry, style and tone of the document. As you scroll down, Translate PDF will continue translating the content in the right panel as you read. With this feature at your disposal, what used to be simple has become incredibly easy and convenient. Now let's dive into the next feature on the AI Tools menu, Proofread PDF. Proofread PDF is the feature that comes to our aid in those situations where our goal is to review a document for errors and alternatives that allow us to express our ideas more clearly. Typically, this process can be quite a headache because depending on the document's length, it could take us several hours to read through and ensure the document is clear and error free. If you've ever found yourself in a situation like this, you probably are familiar with the visual fatigue that creeps in after several hours of reading and the frustration that arises when it feels like you'll never finish. But don't worry, with PDF Element 10, this will no longer be a problem. As soon as you start the proofread PDF feature, it will begin to review, correct, and suggest changes in your document to help make it clear and error-free. It's that simple. A simple click and you've saved many hours of work. It's truly amazing, don't you think? The next feature you will be reviewing is the AI Translate feature. Unlike Translate PDF, AI Translate is focused on shorter text snippet translation, which come in handy for clarifying specific words or when we're creating a PDF in a language we're not completely proficient in. This helps us express our ideas in our native language and then with the AI Translate feature assistance, convey them into the desired language. Let me show you an example. Let's say I want to create a PDF in Spanish, but my native language is English. It's much more convenient and practical for me to write the information in English and let AI Translate handle the translation for me. All I need to do is create a blank document, enable the AI Translate feature, select the language to which I want to express my ideas and start typing in the input field above. 
Once I've finished writing my paragraph or sentence, I can just press the return key and use the button in the bottom right corner of the output field to copy the translated version to my clipboard. Perfect, now my translation is in my clipboard, which means I can easily paste it into my document and there you have it. Now I'll adjust the font family and font size using the panel on the right. As you can see, the process is extremely simple, making it possible to write a document in a language I don't fully master with the same efficiency and accuracy as I would in my native language. On the other hand, if all I need to do is translate a snippet because there's a word or sentence that I don't understand, checking the instantly translate the text as you select it box makes things much, much easier. I simply have to select the snippet I find difficult to understand and voila, the translation appears immediately in the output field of the AI Translate feature. AI Translate unlocks a world of opportunities. While it may appear similar to PDF Element 9's translation tool, this version offers a significant advantage. It leverages the capabilities of the most advanced NLP model to deliver significantly more precise translations. Lastly, it's time to talk about the major feature among the AI tools, the AI Sidebar. Do you remember when I told you about the two features that Lumi debuted in PDF Element 9 for Mac? Well, from now on, the AI sidebar will be where you can access them. But the AI sidebar is much, much more than that. So let me explain why. When you activate the AI sidebar feature, you'll see a panel appear on the right hand side of the PDF Element window. In this panel, Lumi will welcome you and you'll find an input field at the bottom that allows you to chat with Lumi to ask for information or advice. But that's not all you'll find a total of five buttons. Two of them, summarize and rewrite, are readily visible while the other three, proofread, explain and custom, are accessible through the ellipsis menu, conveniently located to the right of the other two buttons. These buttons will help us create a prompt in the input field to tell Lumi what we want it to do for us. For example, let's say I'm reading a document and I come across a word or a phrase I don't completely understand due to technical jargon of the document. Well, this is exactly what the explain feature can do for us. All I have to do is choose the explain option, paste the word or phrase I want Lumi to explain inside the input field and press return. Almost instantly, Lumi will find the simplest way to explain the concept and even provide examples to help me understand it, just like a teacher would with a student. And speaking of teachers in education, let's talk about the proofread and rewrite features. If you're an educator, I promise you'll find them extremely useful. By telling Lumi to proofread and providing a snippet of the document you're reviewing as a prompt, Lumi will identify typos, grammar, and spelling errors. And if that's not enough, Lumi will also offer suggestions to enhance the clarity or match the style and tone of your text. On the other hand, using the rewrite feature, Lumi will focus on providing an alternative version that is easier to read and understand. So, if you're used to long hours of reviewing and editing essays, articles, or books, do not worry, PDF Element will do the heavy lifting for you from now on. Now, I want to tell you about what is undoubtedly my favorite feature. But before I do, I want you to consider this scenario. Imagine you're doing research and you've downloaded lots of PDFs about your topic. The issue is that when you open them, you find the essential information you need is buried in a few paragraphs within each document. What's more, some of them contain the same information over and over. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a tool that helps us quickly find and extract the important information from each document, saving us hours or even days of research? It's time to talk about Summarize and its incredible variant, Summarize PDF. With Summarize PDF, we can obtain a summary of any PDF with a simple click of this blue button. In just a couple of seconds, Lumi will provide us with a structured summary in four parts, abstract, outlines, keywords, and questions. These summaries help us understand what the document is about, its topics, the keywords, and it even suggests some key questions that we can use through Lumi's input field to ask and delve deeper into the subject. Just make sure to check the ask PDF box and Lumi will respond using the information from your PDF, indicating the page where you can find the information yourself. This way, you can trust that its answers are accurate and reliable. Furthermore, if you find yourself in a situation where summarizing the entire PDF is not exactly necessary, you can use the summarize feature and copy only the segment containing the information that you really need. It's as if Lumi absorbs all the knowledge from our documents and explains their essence and answer any questions that we might have. 
But wait, there's more. I saved the best for last. Can you imagine how incredible it would be to create your own customized features for Lumi? Well, that's what the custom feature is all about. When you choose the custom option, a window will appear where you can see Lumi's native features along with the add option. By clicking on add, a small window will appear where you can create new features. In the prompt content field, you can explain what you want the feature to do and in the prompt name field, you can assign a name to this new feature. From now on, every time you open the options menu, which you can find via the ellipsis button next to the input field in the AI sign bar, you will see the feature you just created listed and you can use it in the same way as the rest of Lumi's features. Isn't it fascinating? Lumi is truly an exceptional assistant, and I'm sure you'll discover numerous ways to make the most of both its default functions and those you can create yourself. Now, before we finish the AI sidebar, let me tell you about the ellipsis menu located in the top right of the panel. In this menu, you'll find the options, new chat, history and settings. New Chat is our greatest ally for keeping the information that Lumi provides us well organized. Imagine you've just asked Lumi an important question or even summarized an entire PDF. So your chat with Lumi looks something like this. The problem is that you need to continue the conversation with Lumi to ask more questions, but you don't want the previous message to get buried among all the questions and answers. The solution to this problem is as simple as using the new chat option. And there you go. Now you have a clean space to continue with your questions. And if at any point you need to return to a previous conversation, simply select the history option. With history, you can access all the conversations you've had with Lumi before. These will appear listed in chronological order, but you can also edit the conversation names to keep everything well organized and easy to use. On the other hand, settings will allow us to set the tone and language in which we'd like Lumi to respond to us, as well as the type of technical language we want it to use. When you click apply, you'll see a pop-up message describing the instructions that Lumi should follow when conversing with you. This way, you'll ensure that Lumi always responds exactly as you need it to. Lastly, I want to give you a tip that will undoubtedly help you work comfortably with Lumi. Whether you're using AI read mode or annotating your PDF, you can access Lumi's four native features through the AI content processing menu by pressing control and click while hovering your cursor over a selected text snippet. This will bring up the AI sidebar along with the Lumi response depending on the feature you've selected. If you're in AI read mode, you can hide or reveal the AI sidebar as needed. As you've seen, the introduction of Lumi brings impressive advantages that will surely transform the way we interact with our PDF files. The best part is that everything you've seen in this video is available in PDF Element 10 right now. So what are you waiting for? If you're already a PDF Element user, just look for the latest update on the App Store. If you haven't tried PDF Element yet, you can download it for free from both the App Store and the official PDF Element website. So don't waste any more time. Leverage these powerful tools to start experiencing the true potential of PDF Element. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll continue bringing you many more videos with tips and tricks to make your work life easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel and there you'll find many videos just like this one. Have a great day and see you next time.